Hello there. Hello there. If you clicked on this video, that means that you want to make a car animation. I've been making car animations for a while now. A lot of my friends were asking me for a tutorial for this. So here it is. So first step for this tutorial is going to be having a car model to rig and animate. So you can either buy one or download one. Or you can model it yourself. If it's your own design, it's always more fun to see it in action. So the second step of this tutorial is going to be separate everything into collections to make it clear. Uh, so you will need a body and wheels and all separated into groups. And then we just parent everything like for example all the parts for the body are going to be parted to this main one and then the wheels separately. The third step is going to be rigging the car. Uh, we're going to use an add-on, which is the rig a car add-on. It's super easy to use and the link is going to be in the video description. The tutorial from the guy is very good. So uh, if you want to go deeper into the add-on, you should check him out, of course. Third part is going to be animating. Of course, you need to have a cool environment or something that is the road to animate it onto. In this tutorial, I'm going to use my uh, asset, which is available on Gumroad. It's a modular forest scene. Then we'll need to make a curve that the car will follow. And uh, of course, to make it natural, you can look at a lot of reference of how car moves. And the last step is going to be baking the wheel rotation, etc. But that's the easy part, you just click a button. And that's done. I suppose we just jump right in. So here I have the car, a lot of moving parts. So for the parts that move with the body, we'll all parent to this one. If you have a car that already has everything parented to body and the wheels independent, uh, you can skip this part. Okay, so what I did here was I separated everything into groups and for the wheels I separated every part and then I'm going to parent all the wheels component to only one, for example this one. Very important part is to have the origin of the object centered. Uh, set origin to geometry, every origin is at the center. Also in this part we're going to try to optimize the model, we're going to decimate quite a lot. As you can see here we have 3 million polygons because this is exported from alias. So we're going to try to optimize this with this decimates because we're making an animation. We don't need that much definition because we are going to have motion blur anyway. So, so let's try halving this. No apparent changes. That's nice. I'm only doing this because I have uh, very dense models. But if you have a subd model that you can just reduce the subdivision amount, uh, you should do this instead. Nice, so we went from 3 plus millions to a little bit more than 1 million triangles, so I think we are good. Now we are going to parent everything to be able to rig it, so I'm just going to select everything. My main part for the car body, so I chose this part, and then I'm going to hit Ctrl P, uh, Object, Keep Transform, and normally it should be right, yes. Nice, everything moves with it now. I'm going to select everything and select my controller last so it's active. Control P. Yes, now we can check. Nice, everything is nice together and nothing's left. Okay, I do the same process now for everything. Nice, so now everything is parented together. We're going to be ready to rig very soon. Uh, we just need to name some parts. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the rig a car add-on. So I will put a link in the video description. So every time I use the add-on, I end up on the website because there is a naming convention that you have to follow. Uh, you have to name the parts accordingly. So for example, body, uh, wheel, blah, blah, blah. So this, you have to follow the same convention, body. And you have to have a capital first letter, BK for back and L for left. So I'm going to do the same here, back, left. Yes, so I'm going to do the same for every part. That seems correct. So now I have the body and the wheels almost ready to rig it completely. But first, I think we have to level the car with the floor. Nice. There is another thing we need to do first. The car needs to be facing the negative y direction. Now I can select everything. It's shift A with the cursor at the center, with the car facing negative Y and with the wheels touching the floor. Now it's all checked. I can hit shift A, armature car deformation rig, this tab here and hit generate. And now it's done. We have a full rig. We can go into pause mode and check if everything is working. The wheels steer correctly. This one is just to move it around. Uh, these are ground sensors. We will be able to shrink wrap, kind of project those to the ground. This one is super important and we're going to use it a lot to animate. For example, when you accelerate, the weight moves backwards. Yeah. This one is super funny. It's the drift one. Yes, nice. So now that we know roughly how the rig works, uh, we're going to see how to use it to animate. 
So for the scene, I'm going to use the modular forest scene I did. It's available on Gumroad, link in the video description if you want to check it out. I'm not going to move it around yet because um, we are going to use a curve to animate the car. The car could drift on this one maybe. <laughs> Nice. Road is how I want it. Now I have the car here, remember? Uh, and we're going to use a curve to animate the car. That's convenient here, I have a curve already. But as you know, a car rolls on the right or left. So I'm going to duplicate this curve and make it driving pattern on, the, on that road. So I duplicate it. Nice. Then I go to edit mode. And I'm going to make it right uh, that way. So let's put everything on the right here. What we can do now is go into the pose mode, select this controller, and go into the bone constraint, uh, follow curve, uh, follow path, sorry, and here drive. And we can use the fixed position so that this goes from uh, zero to one. And also we want it to follow the curve. And here it's turning the wrong way, so minus X. Here we go. It's just flying right now. Go to the rigger car here in the end panel. Go down to the ground sensors. And now we can just eye drop this and always put the project one on. Project. Now it's completely on the ground, right? Yes. Now what we can do is animate this. So I want this to be from here to all the way there. Okay. And then I go all the way to the end and I put around here, I guess. Nice. If we check the animation, you will see if I press play, it will start slowly. And what we want is saying, okay, it was rolling already and there it doesn't stop, it keeps rolling. So, so what we can do is press T on the timeline here and make it linear. Okay. And now we are going to animate the weight uh, momentum, I guess we could call this. Go into pose mode, select this bone. I'm going to animate the location of this bone because if, when you move it around, once again, moves the whole thing. So I'm going to press I here and I'm going to go to the next turn. Here I want it to be at the peak of the turn, this way, nice. Now I'm going to the next turn, peak of the turn again. I want it to be all the way to the other side. I'm, I'm animating it very roughly because it's a buggy, but if you have a full car with fenders and stuff, you want it to be more subtle. Now next turn, here, next turn, and that's basically what you do for every turn. What we can do is have the camera be parented to the car, or we can do it, make it follow the curve, I guess. Uh, I make it follow path, uh, drive, and I'm going to copy the same values as for the car. Go here to the camera and place it however I want. And as we can see, it, the, the car has momentum in those turns. Take this, and between the turns, maybe I want it back to the mid. So uh, which axis was it? Yeah, X. I want it here. Between all the turns, I want X to be back at zero. We can render uh, an animation now. Uh, but before that, I also wanted to show you how to make it drift. So on that last very big turn, I want to drift. And the drift part is animated with this controller right here. Now to animate the angle rotation. First peak of the turn there and turn this slightly and we want it to stop at the end of the turn here. Now what else can we do now? Maybe we can apply all the rotation from a rigger car. You can just bake the car steering and here is like tolerance and stuff. Uh, I just don't change anything and click OK. There we go. And now we can bake the wheels turning uh, bake wheel rotation and there you have it you just need to animate some cool camera movements and it's done here's the final render
thanks for watching guys i hope you liked the tutorial uh once again the environment we used in this video is available on gunroad and i have the link in the video description if you want the link to the add-on is also in the description i hope you learned something today yeah thank you very much for watching by the way the last video did uh wow like 100k views i didn't expect that at all so thank you very much for that uh, and I guess I'm a YouTuber now since I have more than 1.5k uh, subscribers. So I guess I have to do the thing now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and uh, comment what you want in the next video. <laughs> it feels weird to do that, but yes, I'm a YouTuber now, I guess. Thank you for watching.